Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Aries, you're getting a huge warning here, okay, that somebody uh, somebody could trick you. You have the trickster. Um, <clears throat> you need to be very cautious. Um, someone might try to trick you into something you or get you into something you don't really want uh, or to take you in a direction you don't really want to go or to even have you sign your name to something uh, that uh, may uh, get you into trouble. So what we have is the trickster deception at the heart of the reading. Okay, so it's called the swindle. So someone may try to swindle you. Um, they offer you great happiness. This is what they're offering you. But is it real or is it an illusion? That is going to be for you to discern. You... Um, will need to trust your intuition on this, okay? What I see is that you're very confused about someone. You don't know whether to believe them or not, okay? So your intuition is already talking to you about this person. Uh, things are unclear. You have your suspicions, but maybe you don't want to believe them. Um... You could be, this could be a, re a relationship that's like on the verge. Uh, it's not working. It's like on the verge of ending, not working. Uh, because I see that the Eight of Cups is here. So someone here may be trying to get the courage to walk away, Aries. And uh, then along comes the Ace of Wands. And now the Ace of Wands, we must be very careful here with the Ace of Wands. Because the hand that's holding the wand, yes, it could be the universe but it could also be the magician. I'm sorry, it doesn't come in clear, clear. Uh, trying to get it in clear, but yeah, this could be the magician's hand. And the fact that it's sitting on the trickster, uh, the swindler, I would think that, and with the harp, I feel like somebody's singing a tune here. Uh, somebody is, um, somebody is acting. We have the great actor over here. And you could end up getting hurt if you fall for it. Okay, with Mwaka over here. Um, I feel like you want to believe this person, though. But there's, something is telling you to be careful. Um, you would know this person... Um, know how they are and so you're very burdened you're very very burdened uh there on the one hand see there's that offer again there it is again okay this is somebody who mm, this page i mean he could uh he could be uh sincere but he could not be sincere okay and, and so the question is, is this a really a sincere apology or isn't it? I feel like it's an, an apology. They may have done something that brought this to where it is, the relationship, and they are apologizing for it and you are very burdened by it. You don't know how to proceed. You've got this instinct that says, Whoop, be careful, the claw is here and it's saying, uh, okay, take extra care during this uh, period and um, under no circumstances should you take any kind of risk okay because you may end up getting hurt so be careful with this situation and you will know who this is um, don't even sign your name <laughs> to any documents they might present to you. 
You have two cards of intuition here, side by side, both at the bottom of the deck in the overall energies, and they're telling you to use your intuition. Listen to your intuition. The Grail Knight sitting right next to them is uh, taking a step back to think about something. So with the, um, with the, uh, the High Priestess here twice, and you may feel that they're keeping a secret from you. You may have this suspicion that they're lying to you. But uh, so you may take a step back to analyze this and you may be playing your cards close to your chest. Okay. And this message just keeps repeating in this reading. Here we have the Meloramantam. Okay. So um, this is about weighing things up. Okay, it is about the consequences of our action. And uh, oddly enough, we also have karma up here. So um, <clears throat> the Melodomantum is about weighing thing up, things up, um, worried about the consequences, um, in the dark about what the consequences would be because, well, you know what they would be, uh, but you're in the dark about what to do about the direction, okay? You know what the consequences will be. You're going to get hurt if you're, if you, if you do this and you, if you go against your intuition or what your intuition is saying, <clears throat> you know where you'll end up, excuse me, you'll end up here, hurt, okay? And, um, <clears throat> The times, remember, remember that the times that you don't listen to your intuition are the times when you will make your biggest mistakes, okay? And so you have, uh, you have the butterfly on this, you see? So once again, it's kind of a painting the same type of picture where uh, it is, a, see how it says a change for the better, okay? But that's in question. That's in question. So it looks like there's a change for the better and somebody's playing and singing a merry tune here with the harp. <clears throat> and so something that was uh, not going so well, then, then oops, uh, suddenly uh, it's going well again and uh, they're promising you the moon. Um, well, the butterfly says soon you will experience this where it, it gets better so there's like a change for the better but it's but it goes on uh, to talk about um, is it really for the better <clears throat> so it may seem to be for the better at the moment but there's still a cloud of uncertainty that just hovers above it. But you will, uh, you will be able to decide at a later time, I feel this is over here in the future, um, whether or not this is for the better. So you're going to take like a wait and see type of attitude. Uh, you pull back a little bit uh, to, to reevaluate this. <clears throat> you need to be very, very careful though. Uh, don't put your name to anything. And don't uh, agree to anything that might seem too good to be true, okay? Um, all right, so uh, the world of truth is in the reverse. So this is the star. And uh, it speaks to a disappointment. You could experience some bad luck. Um, you may feel, uh, yeah, okay, so this is something you're thinking. You're, you're very, very uh, burdened by what you might receive. This is you thinking about um, uh, what, you're, what the consequences are going to be because the haystack is here and it's a card of kar karma. You reap what you sow. And so this is you worrying about that. Look at you. Oh, you know, if I, if I do believe them and if I do do what they're asking me, uh, what, what might the consequences be? And, and uh, to that, that's, you know, that's, you've got a, uh, several ideas, none of them good, right? So, um, 
you're worried, um, you this could be telling you to avoid making any irreversible or impulsive decisions at this time. I don't think you're going to make any impulsive decision because you've taken a step back. But uh, what I'm worried about is that you make a decision that's irreversible and that has your signature on it. So be very careful, okay? I don't want you to get hurt or to get caught up in something uh, that you don't want to be caught up into that you will later regret. And I think that your intuition is trying to tell you that. That's why the, the haystack has appeared here, to get you to stop and think about the consequences of, of your action should you decide to do this, um, okay? Uh, because this is something that could come back to haunt you later, and you don't want that. So this is what they're warning. So... Um, There you are. See, you're looking over here. And you're, it's like this takes a lot of your, uh, a lot of your time uh, thinking about this, okay? Um, this, it's a decision for the future. Um, oh, God. I feel like they've, I feel like this person has maybe uh, released you from some of your fears but I think it's really played up, but you still got a lot of fears. You still got a lot of fears. So they may have offered you some type of explanation uh, some or made you some type of offer um, <clears throat> uh, to persuade you uh, to take them back, to persuade you. Uh, they're, they've, they're definitely upping the ante, okay? So they're adding or piling a lot on um, but it's almost like it's camouflage so be careful just be careful um, you're going to think about this you know uh, you're going to think about this as you should look at that goodness so you have the skull uh, here and, and this is about uh, secrets, somebody's hidden secrets that can harm you. So this person is definitely keeping uh, secrets uh, from you that could end up hurting you. And I think that your intuition is trying to tell you this or will be. Uh, maybe none of this has happened yet, you know. Um, maybe you're still in a relationship that's struggling but you haven't it hasn't gotten here yet you know um and so <clears throat> i mean if you're in a happy relationship this reading's not for you but if your if your relationship is struggling and if this sounds like your story then you need to be very careful because here look the club you got the club you got the skull you've got a lot of warnings uh, the butterfly over here, okay, that uh, someone may try to make you do something that goes against your will. And you may not even see it. Okay. It could also be that with this card, somebody could try to blackmail you. Somebody may try to persuade you to do something that is against your better judgment. Um, and for someone, this could kind of be like a blackmail, you know. If you, if you do this, then I'm going to do that, you know. So, they want you to agree to something. Look at that. I feel, though, Aries, in the end... I feel like you're going to get a wish at the end of all of this. If you've been wishing for the truth, the truth is what you're going to get. Okay. And um, I think that you've been trying to, 
I think that you've been trying to see something uh, that has been very elusive here with this needle and thread. Yeah. And so it's like you you keep or kept missing it in the dark. This person, whoever they are, has kept you in the dark, is keeping you in the dark, but making you believe that all is well or that all will be well and that uh, you will have uh, this very uh, happy life or something that you've been wishing for with this person. But uh, again, I got to bring the butterfly back. This change that's occurring with this person may appear for the better, but is it really? This is something that you will later decide. You're trying to understand something and something that has been hidden from you will come to light. Okay? So that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.